What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I'm going to show you what I think is the best move in the Dragon Ball Super card game as of December 2021. So this move takes some specific setup. I've set everything up, so I'm going to show you guys what you need from the beginning of turn five through turn six. Turn six is where it goes down. All right, so basically the things you need are you need at, on your on the beginning of your turn five, you wanna, you wanna have two beans, a baby, two Zamasus if you have them, they're helpful, they're not mandatory. You wanna have both of your golden Avengers, baby Hachiak, two Keflas, something to arrival your Kefla, Android 17 turning the tides if you have him, and an ape is nice and you need Foo Shroud and Mystery. So we're gonna say this is the beginning of our turn five. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna charge Zamasu, which gives us an extra yellow and an energy. You can also charge a blue, it doesn't matter that much. But what you wanna do here is you wanna play your baby unison for three energy. And when you play your baby unison for three energy, you can plus him, draw a card, go to five. And then we're gonna attack with our leader. When we attack with our leader, we'll draw, and untap two energy. And we wanna use a Senzu Bean here because we wanna be at five energy. So we're gonna use a Senzu Bean on our leader swing and go back to five energy. And at this point, you can swing with your unison if you want, but you can also just pass. You wanna go into your opponent's turn five or six with five energy up and uh, your baby hatch in hand. So. At this point, now, whatever your opponent does, you wanna baby hatch their first attack. If they have a Foo Shrouded, obviously you'd wanna have a Trunks God Sealing in hand. I didn't grab that from my deck, but if we had a God Sealing in hand, we were just God Sealing their Foo. And if they counter countered our God Sealing, then we would counter counter their counter counter. But we have five energy up here because their first attack, we're gonna baby hatch. And if they're smart, they know that we have a baby in hand, so they're not going to counter our counter because we will counter their counter if they counter counter this. So that's why you hatch with five energy up. At this point, they may draw some cards, may do some effects, but they can't really do too much and they'll probably pass. So it's gonna be our turn here. We draw for our turn and we're gonna choose a card in our hand, put it in our energy. And here, right off the bat, you wanna minus five your baby. When you minus five your baby, you give your leader uh, plus 15K and double strike for the turn. And you can activate counter counters from your hand for free. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, when we activate a baby hatch, we had to drop a card. So we'll say that we we actually would have dropped this. And then on this turn, we just charge another Zamasu to have more yellow. So we minus five on the, on the baby parasite. And when we minus five on Baby Parasite, it's gonna give our leader 15K and double strike. And the first thing we're gonna do now, we wanna have 10 cards in our drop area and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if you have eight cards, you're gonna be fine because Hatch is gonna put the ninth card in and then when you minus five your baby, that's gonna be 10. Then we can overwhelm for six energy and play Foo Shrouded and Mystery by overwhelming. And if they are somehow gonna counter him, we can just counter with Baby Golden Avenger, drop two cards. So we'll drop uh, two apes, it's perfect. Uh, from the baby effect, we can activate counters from our hand by dropping two cards. And now their counter is gonna be countered. We get to bottom deck a card and draw something off the Golden Avenger. Here, we're gonna attack with our leader. This is a 50, 30K double strike. We untap two energy and at this point, we have to use a Senzu Bean. So we can use a Senzu Bean here to untap another energy, which is gonna give us 35K double strike. And then we can arrival with our super combo, Zamasu if you have them is the best, or whatever blue, yellow super arrival fodder, 45, and then pay three energy and arrival Kefla. And when you arrival Kefla, she's gonna bottom deck something, ignoring barrier. They're gonna have to deal with this 45 double strike. And if they have energy, any energy untapped, we can choose Kefla's activate main, discard Kefla, draw two cards and choose one of their cards and switch them to rest mode. And then now all their card skills are gonna be shut off except their leader. And now we can just swing and Kefla's gonna have double strike. So you have a 30K double strike, you have your 40K single strike, 
you have a 30K triple strike, and then you have two 30K double strikes. And if somehow they manage to get through that turn, you still can counter counter by dropping cards from your hand. So if they manage to live and you're going into your next turn, they're probably not gonna be able to do too much, but you can still God sealing something from your hand by dropping these two cards. And then maybe they'll deal a damage and then they try and play something else and you can just baby counter whatever they play. Since you have a baby in play, this will go to the drop area and you'll drop these two cards to activate that. And maybe they deal one more damage. And then our turn is gonna start. We'll draw for our turn. And then here, you're just gonna charge something. So charge here. And then right off the bat, Fu, oh, Fu went away at the last end of the last turn. Everything stands back up. Here, you're just gonna pay seven energy for Android 17 turning the tides. You and your opponent send your hands back to your deck and they're gonna shuffle their battle cards from their drop back into their deck. Um, and then you can start swinging with your leader. So you'll swing with your leader, untap two blue energy, draw a card. Uh, use one of your apes in your drop area, pay two energy for an ape, and draw two more cards. If we were really nasty, we'd have Kefla would have been right here. So we would draw, we would draw one, two, and then of course you discard Kefla, draw two more cards and give Kefla dual attack, and then you just swing face with your whole board. So this guy's crit also, you wanna swing with him first and deal the crit damage and then swing at the rest of your board. Honestly, if you're able to pull the Kefla off of the Fu, it's very unlikely that they'll be able to live through that. Uh, and you know, you do have a, need a relatively specific setup, but you can get there through drawing the cards you need. And if you know what you need, you're more likely to be able to see that. So that turn, turn five, baby, Bean, Fu, turn six, Kefla off the back of Fu. I learned that from David Sublet. Sublet, if you're listening, thanks for teaching me that lingo. I like the Kefla off the back of Fu. I think that's very cool. Uh, anyway, I think that's the strongest move in the game. I don't think there's really anything that can deal with it. And if you're able to set that up, it's pretty much GG. Uh, I'm Joku DMD. Thanks for watching my best move in the game video as of December 2021. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip today would be... If your wisdom teeth have enough room to come into your mouth, so if they're coming in straight and they're not impacted and they're not growing into the teeth that are in your mouth already, don't get them extracted. If you have space for your wisdom teeth, it's good to let them come in because your wisdom teeth will create more space in your jaw. They'll create more support for your soft palate and they can actually help reduce the chances of things like sleep apnea. And if you do suffer from sleep apnea, looking into an oral sleep appliance versus a CPAP is a great idea. I highly recommend it. I'm Joku DMD. Thanks for listening and I'll see you guys next time.